Boom, I hit the button. Look at that sweet, sweet transition. I love it when it filters over like that. I'm just gonna go ahead and do one of those. You know what, nah, let's just let's just say forget about the music. What's up everybody, how's it going? Check it out, we got, we got two things. We got this and we got this, and I wanna open both. I've been wanting to open both of them for like the past three nights. The past three nights. But then here's the thing, <laughs> I go and <laughs> I sit down in bed and then I'm like, ooh, I'm comfortable. And then I don't get back up. That is literally my night for the past three three days. This week, this week of work has been hectic, and uh, I was like, you know what? We're just gonna chill. We're just gonna, we're just gonna chill. So, so I thought, you know what? Today, today's the day. Let's open these things up. Okay. So, if you don't know, if you were unaware, Genesis Battle of Champions is a tactical trading card game produced completely in Canada. It's uh, on its fourth set now, which is really, really cool. I have not gotten to play it yet. Um, I would like to. Unfortunately, because of the current climate, it makes playing games hard and going to game stores hard. Um, but it seems like a really, really cool game. I've been like, um, I've been doing a lot of reading on, re on uh, rules and trying to get caught up with like how it plays. And every time I, I come across something, uh, I always end up liking it about the game, which is really cool. Now, I will say, I looked at the art for both of these sets, and I, I much prefer the art <laughs> within uh, this. And I'll, let me turn it so you guys can see. I much prefer the art within um, the Welcome to Jai, Jai, Jai Lara. Oh my god, why did I mess that up? I think I practiced it before this. I much prefer the art in this set than I do to race. Uh, but we can talk about it while we open both of them up because we are going to open both of them up. But I think the the game in general is really cool. It's it's like a nice little mesh between um, between a, a trading card game, like a traditional trading card game, and a uh, like a tabletop uh, miniatures game. And I've always loved the tactical nature of like positioning troops and miniatures and all of that, but I've never like taken a deep dive into miniatures myself. And because of that, uh, I feel like this would be a great way to get that itch scratched, as it were. But anyway, enough about me. How are you doing? How are you doing this evening? It's Saturday where I am. You could be anywhere. You could be literally anywhere, and I'm not sure, but uh, I hope things are going well for you. I really do. I really do. I want to post this before I get cracking. Um, which one should we open first? Sound off in the comments below. Do you want to open um, Welcome or Raise? I bet you like they abbreviate this WTJ or Raise. They probably do. Well, I don't know. Tell me in a comment below. Do they actually abbre abbreviate it? I think I would. If, if it were me, I would. But hey, it's not always me. You know what I'm saying? It's not always me opening booster boxes on stream exclamation point i love the exclamation point look i love the exc exclamation point and you can't take that away from me you know why it's just a good thing it's just a good thing what's up everybody raise don't forget to oh that's me i literally posted that so you open these two tonight or one of the two no i'm opening these two tonight ccm i i thought to myself, I was like, hmm, I wonder if he knows, if he if he understood the message. I'm going to open these tonight, and then tomorrow, probably like afternoon-ish, I'm going to open the, uh, uh, the, the Dice Masters stuff, which I think has a little thing tucked in uh, inside of them, but we'll, we'll find out. I, you know what? They say raise. Pius was the one that said it first, so let's set this one aside aside and let's open up rays i'm gonna do the bottom i'm gonna like cut this bottom open and um, then i'm gonna flip it over because i want to keep the box kind of nice because i like the art on the box and i'm, I'm starting a collection it's kind of hard to see I'm starting a collection of boxes of like booster boxes and stuff behind me so i want to add this to the collection without getting a big old scratch on the front um oh okay so one of the things that i uh i liked about this the first one of the first things that I liked about this was I liked the different take on the art style that uh, that it a lot of the cards had. It was sort of like a it reminded me of of that early two thousands. Was it like early two thousands Magic the Gathering that had the flavor, um, kind of the art flavor of this set? I think it was. Kind of reminded me of that mixed with some of the D and D stuff. Let's make sure that the colors are all good. 
Yeah, dude, you should definitely check up on this game. You you were the guys, like CCM and, and the other guys, you were the people that I considered when I first saw this game. I was like, oh man, I wonder if they know about this. I wonder if they're like aware of this. But yeah, I love the... I love the like the style of it, and that combined with a tactical TCG made me really excited. Okay, before we get rolling, before we open a pack number one, I want to do this, and I want to make sure it's not super duper dark. Because if it's super duper dark, then where's the fun in that, right? Oh, that seems good. That seems that seems solid. We'll start with that, and then we'll move on from there as we see fit. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, so, as I said, I haven't gotten a chance to play the actual game yet, but I've read the rule book and I've read, um, I've watched gameplay of it. So, sound off. If you, if you do, hey, check that out. I like that. I like that. A little, a little made in Canada sign. That's pretty cool. Haunted Castle, Haunted Castle Games. Um, sound off. I like how the pack starts as well. It starts with an uncommon. That's interesting. Sound off on what we hope to pull. What what would be good pulls, okay? Because I've gone through most of the card list, but uh, I, you know, when you don't play it or when you haven't played it yet, uh, it's one of those scenarios where it's like I'm just kind of trying to trying to put it together in my own mind. So sound off with what we should actually look to pull. I'm gonna make this final adjustment and then we are uh, off to the races. I'm gonna hit this button right here. Ha ha! Sweet. All right, cool. Boop, 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 boop. That's close enough. All right. Fire Master's Dance. This is an uncommon. It's uh, an enchantment, which is pretty cool. Oh, look at that. That's a cool little dude. I don't know how you pronounce this. Makara. Makara. Uncommon. Okay, this is the this is the biggest thing that I've struggled with thus far. Okay, and maybe I missed it. I probably missed it thus far. Someone explained to me Beckon as a, just a, a, a function in the game. Someone explain Beckon. I like the forked lightning. See, like, okay, so comparing the art style here that we see on this card, comparing to what we'll find in the WTJ booster set, the art is, is definitely different. It has, like, a simplified kind of aspect to it. Hey, oh my god, look at this. Hey, we start with a full art core. That's pretty cool. I looked through these and I was like, oh, those full arts look spicy. They look really good. That looks really good. I like that. And then a rare. Um, Olgi Korkoi. Korkoi. Is that Olgoi Korkoi? I don't know how you pronounce that, but it's something like that. Uh, let's see. It's got four health. Health is up here at the top. Um, let's scan around, scan around. Um, you have to exert it. Swift attack. Earth attack four. Hey, four is pretty good. Uh, trigger counterattack. Ooh, interesting. When it's dealt damage by a champion or summon in its awareness, it deals two damage to them. That's pretty cool. Shoulder hop for a nice little common. See, like the art there is also different from the art on Forked Lightning. You know, it just strikes me a little differently than than the art from other sets. Very interesting. The library's gates trap. It's an alteration, so it's going to hit the board and do something. Oh no. Was that a little bend there? Oh, that's unfortunate. A little, little scuff, little bend. It's a common though, right? That shouldn't be a problem. Should not be a problem. Exert the summon immediately. Beckon is a trigger word. Playing uh, a card with Beckon sets the Beckon trigger onto the stack and it can be responded to. Play, okay, Beckon. Place the new summon onto the field in an adjacent space to you, directly to the right, left, or in front of you, facing the same direction. As okay, cool. So it's literally just like a summon, right? What's the difference between that and summon, or is that literally the word for summon in this game? That's what I want to know. Okay, sidestep. We got inspiring might. You just got your, uh, you just got your uh, tigers. You got your tigers around you. They are inspiring. Abidance. Uh, cattail tiger. Merciless beating. <laughs> uh, that's a good one. Merciless beating. Tempest sphinx. Peaceful demand. Target champion and peaceful demands awareness chooses one. I love choose one cards. Uh, it's a spell, and it's a swift cast, right? Yeah, you can cast it at swift speed. Um, so they can discard all cards in their, in their hand. Thoughts means hand. Uh, they cannot move or rotate this round, and they gain pacify. And pacify is uh, they champion or summon loses their awareness. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's pretty interesting. Look at the, what is she holding? Oh, she's just showing them two options. I like that. And then Marshall Sentry in the back. On the back end... Summon is the card type. Oh yeah, duh. Why did I even why did I even ask that question? Because it's literally right there. 
So you beckon a summon. I guess that was what was confusing me. Every time I read it, it's like you beckon a summon. So you you bring out a creature. It's kind of like the way you'd say it. But you beckon a summon. All right, pack number one, and we ended up with a full art core. Now, also help me out, because this is my first experience in opening a full-on booster box. How many of these... How many full arts would you expect in a booster box? Or is there like a distribution model that they go across or that they, they kind of stick to? Sound off, because I would love to learn. You guys are teaching me. You're teaching me tonight, but we do have upheaval. And we have a colossal ant. That's cool. I like that. <laughs> I, what is he, is he ripping a head off of something? No, it's just like tossing like a sloth. I'm not sure what that is, but there it is. And then we have wind slash for an uncommon. And uh, starter. Oh wait, wait, wait! This is another full art. Hey, now, come on. That's that. That can't be like. Maybe this is more common in this set. Maybe that's the thing. Oh, hey, look at that. And we got. Uh, I'm not gonna even come close. Apocat, stasis Apocatastasis. Something to that effect. Uh, you gain one health for each ability on the stack. Oh, that's really cool. That is a cool card type. Followed up by the Fire Fiend, or a cool card text, I should say. Uh, Shadow Master. There we go, yep. Shadow Master. We got Arcane Shield. I like the art on that card. That's really cool. Is that a spot? Oh, no. Draconic Vixen. Draconis Vixen, excuse me. Followed by um, Miraged Oasis. Uh, Tacky Psyche. That's a pretty cool little name. Execute. Place a card from your thoughts on top of your timeline. Interesting. Shock Lizard. <laughs> cool little cool little summon dude. Flame Jet, which is a, a fire spell. Oh my time. goodness! Mostly I'm cool because I know you, so thanks. What just happened? I said, oh my god, this is amazing. I literally said, cool little dude. Oh, I didn't do it. Oh no, my phone. Oh, that's so depressing. I said those words. Maybe I said something that sounded like, okay, Google. I don't know. That's hilarious. Oh my goodness. I did not know that was a thing. It'll just talk back to you if you say, cool little dude. It didn't say it. It didn't do it. <laughs> that was hilarious. Flame Jet, Dusk Trail Mouse, and By Who. Pretty cool. Guys, how you doing tonight? How are you doing this evening? How goes it in the uh, in the wonderful world of wherever you are? I hope you're, I hope you're doing well. I had to um, I had to go live a little a little later than I wanted to just because I had to uh, had to do some fathering I had to take my son aside I had to explain him that it's gonna be okay that it's gonna be all right because he was he was frustrated he didn't get to pick the book tonight I know isn't that crazy so we just had to sit and just talk you know dude hello what's up JC how are you look for the some of the cards with the designer named John Rayner that's me hey that's cool well, look at that nice. Well, it's nice to see you. I'm glad you're here. Tell me all about the game. Tell me all about the game. Breath, deadly, death, deathly return. Goodness gracious. Dense fog. This is a cool looking card. I like that. Uh, attach it as a skill, and then um, continuous enchantment. Spots not in anything's awareness are considered occupied. <laughs> That's cool. I like that. Oh my goodness. Hello. We got a divine covering. This is an epic. This is a full art uh, rare. Yeah, I believe that's how the the uh, cards work. Anything that's an epic is a is a full art, like an alternate art rare. Is that correct? Someone uh, someone check me on that. But look at that, that's cool looking. Oh my gosh! So I, I looked through and then followed that up with a celestial hegemon. Hegemon. I believe that's actually how you pronounce that, but I don't know. I could be wrong. So that you can bring this out, you can beckon this out for eighteen. Oh good lord! Um, range drain attack. Uh, target champion or summon in the Celestial's uh, awareness loses two health, and it gains two health. Oh, that's cool. It starts with, it. I guess it has three health. Um, and then it has a, a trigger cast. If a champion or summon loses health because of Celestial Hegemon, then uh, they gain Pacify for the rest of this round. Wow, that's really interesting. That's a cool-looking card. That is expensive, though. How much do you have to pay to put into a deck? Seven? Interesting. Aura Transmutation. So the, the nice thing about this game, and just any game in general, the more I open and like read cards, the more I start to kind of understand and put together things in my mind about what um, I would go about doing with regards to like a deck. Inferno Lash, Tornado Winds, another by who? Parry, and Sea Crate. 
followed by or ending with a float. I wonder how many cards. How many cards do you have? Uncommon, 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 rare, rare. Is that is that it? Is it five? Is it five? Let's let's find out. Let's find out. Let's let's do the pack upside down, and then let's go. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Would that be it, or would this just show something fancy? Ah, I did it. I did it. Now look at this. The last five cards are gonna be the hype right there. All right, Arcane Shield. We got Dusk Trail Mouse. Uh, stable Footing. Put these down here. Put this box slightly out of the way. Let's let's put the box down on the ground. Boom. Stable Footing. We've got Wrist Throw. Engulfing Wrath. Fleet Footed. I like that. Jalaran Mist. Cool. Luminous Covering. Dark Corruption. Lion Mane Rabbit. Now we get to the uncommon. See, I, I, I cycled it around. Colossal Ant, number two. Brawler's Momentum, that's cool. Shut down, followed by an Erica. Okay, so look, it isn't. <laughs> Maybe we just had insane first two pulls because both of them were uh, full art, full art uh, champions. Followed by a rare uh, Barik Naga, which one of the, my favorite arts from this little thing that I've seen so far. I like the uh, I like the little Naga dude. He's pretty cool looking. Nice. Okay, continuing on. All right, let's do the same trick. I like that. Stacking them up at the end. Save the best for last. Oh, okay, there we go. One, two, three, four, five. Boop to the back. It is truly a tactical CCG where you start strong and struggle later. Yes, I know. It's super interesting. That's one of the things that I really liked about it as well is that hook of just like you get to make your choices and, and uh, pull your punches where you wish. Um, and the further you go, the the more you have to make these tough decisions. Parry, Tornado Winds, Mirage Oasis, Kadama, Abidance, Arcane Shield, Dusk Trail Mouse, Mouse excuse me, Upheaval. I'm just gonna look at this for a second. Spell Earth, okay. So obviously we have uh, the different elements that are themed within the game and they have uh, different interactions amongst themselves. Uh, you can swift cast and exert and pay eight uh, resources of which I always forget the name for this. Why did I blank on the name again? I like literally read it before I went live and it doesn't matter. Uh, trigger and stun. It, oh, it, you, you deal three earth damage to target up heal awareness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then if a champion or summon is dealt damage by it, then they cannot move or rotate this round, which again, I think is really cool. I love that you can attach these abilities. You can attach these abilities to cards that control movement and constrict movement. I think that is so interesting. And I've never played a game that does that, which is why I like it. Which is why I like it. Let's let's reorganize these. Uh, we have O10 and Arcane Blast. And we have Core as a starter. And the final card is a Zanbur Dragon, which I think I've actually used the art already for one of the uh, one of the video thumbnails that I'm putting out. Um, so <laughs> you pay 30 resources to bring him out. Uh, he's got a range electric attack. <laughs> you have to exert him to use it. Uh, but flight. He can move onto a spot even if it's occupied. And then the only attack abilities that uh, can target him are range attack abilities. That's pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet. Um, as someone who's seeing everything for the first time, I'd be curious to see something later where you lay out the cards out, or lay the cards out to show how they would be used during gameplay. Yes, keep uh, keep your eyes peeled here because I am going to be starting work on a how to play video for this because again, this is something that I want to check out and try out and, and mess around with. And I feel as though um, because it is so unique, it does like warrant and deserve a like a deep dive how to play video. I, I probably won't make it super duper long where it's like one of those 20 to 30 minute videos just because I feel like, and this is just my personal opinion, tell me yours in the comments below. Um, I much prefer like a 10 to 15 minute kind of get in, get out experience when I watch my own how to plays or let's play, not let's plays, how to plays. Um, I much prefer those because I guess <laughs> maybe I just don't have a very good attention span. My attention span is, uh, is smaller than I guess it probably should be <laughs> because I sit there and it's like 20 minutes in and I'm like, uh, I don't know. I don't know if I even want to play at this point. Downpour. 
It is a spell. It's a water spell. Um, action cast. Pay the, just a bajillion. 33. You deal four water damage to everything in Downpour's Awareness, which is pretty solid. Um, everything dealt damage by it without electric weakness gains electric weakness for the rest of the round. Oh, I love that. That is so cool. How's the card quality? It is, um, it seems pretty solid. In fact, check this out. I'm going to release a video on Monday where I open, I'm going to set this down for just a moment. Yes, I'm leaving you in suspense. Where I opened one of these. This is the starter set. It's a, a two-player starter set. Found out you can get these for like $34.99 through some uh, LGSs. And the LGSs that I found are up in Canada. Um, this the game, in, the entire thing is like printed and um, created, designed, all that in Canada. And I compared the card quality, the card stock here. I'm just going to grab this card. I compared this to like, this card is from Flesh and Blood made by Cardamundi, which is a very well-known, high-quality card uh, company. Card company. The spring, you can kind of see the spring of the card. Um, the, the stock feels may, maybe just a slight bit heavier than this one. The spring is still on par. Um, most of these cards feel solid on the edges. They don't feel like there's like a punch cut out. Some of them do, um, but I would... Here's the thing. Like, you're not going to tell the difference between that in a sleeve and this in a sleeve, right? The difference here is completely negligible. Um, I have not seen too many like burrs and, and problems on the edges as I'm opening these, and I opened two packs in the uh, the starter set review. So all in all, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I, I do think that card quality and card stock matter, but I haven't noticed anything that really makes me upset. Uh, downpour is really cool. <laughs> hey! I saw a post someone made on, I guess it was on the Facebook group, about this card, and I read it, and I was like, hey, that does seem kind of interesting. Just like a baboon deck, just a lots of baboons. We got Ascendant Teachings. Discard a card with the same name as a skill attached to you. Search your timeline for a card with uh, X. What is this symbol? I, I'm going to have to lean in. Uh, oh, X that. Uh, where X is the value of your discarded card, reveal it and put the card into your hand. Your thoughts is your hand again. Shuffle your timeline, that's your deck. So basically this is like tutoring something out of your uh, deck at a specific cost, at a specific cost. See, like right now, for example, on this card, it is a little rougher on the bottom. You can kind of see it. Um, so there is a difference in that versus, I don't know, like Cardamundi, which is really, really high. Chi, thank you. I blank on Chi every single time. There's, I'm trying to teach myself the, uh, the thing. Wait, what, what the heck is this? This is a token. This is a token starter, isn't it? That's interesting. It's like a resurrect token. Is that what this is? Interesting. And then followed by a rare. Yeah, it looks like it's just a resurrect token. Followed by the rare, which is Tadia Jin. So he's a genie. Um, let's see. You beckon him for eight. And then target champion or summon in his awareness gains pacify. So he just says, nah, nah, pacify. I dig that. I dig that. Pretty cool. I can't believe I blanked on Chi. Because I was sitting there thinking to myself, okay, when I explain this game, as I kind of work out the um, the let's play, the how to play, um, yes, exactly, yeah, 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 CCM, you get, you get where I'm coming from. 10 to 15 minutes to kind of get your feet wet, and then as you, as you get deeper and deeper into the whole thing, going from there with regards to uh, how to play, like specific interactions. Yep, I'm I'm totally right there with you. I was thinking to myself, how am I gonna explain this, and like, how would I construct a deck? Well, you gotta you gotta balance out your chi to what, like 250, I think is what it was, right? Uh, Marshall Sentry, Skeleton Warrior. That's really cool. That's really cool. Now, see, I'm looking for, I'm looking for cards by John. John, shout out, shout out where your uh, where your art is, so I can see it. Give me give me like a card name so that I can. Pull that up and we can all take a look together. Goliath Sphinx Eater. Pretty cool. So you beckon him for 10. Um, you range. He has a range air attack, so he can just reach out there. Kind of like the spiders in uh, Magic the Gathering. Kind of reminds me of that. It's kind of cool. little connection there. I like that design. It plays off of uh, already created knowledge, right? All earth damage dealt to it is reduced by 1. Pretty cool. Undead Servitude. Place a summon with uh, the Resurrect Beckon uh, with uh, Chi X or less from your thoughts on a spot in Undead Servitude's awareness. Face in the same direction, then exert it. Cool. I dig that. Rompo. He's a ghoul. Kind of cool. Kind of creepy. Hey, we got another token. Stack token card. 
and then a giant, a big old giant scorpion. There's just a big old boy, giant scorpion, range attack three. Cool. Oh, I like this pack. For some reason, I don't know why this this pack specifically. I guess it's because you get the the bleed uh, like onto the crimps. This is a cool looking pack. That's a really cool looking pack. Are they all that cool? No, just a few of them. Just a few of them are have the dude on them. Just a few of them. Oop. One, two, three, four, five. See, I think card games like this are cool. I really do. And I'm going to start going a little faster just because I plan to open two boxes instead of just one. But I do like taking it all in a little bit as we go. Tornado Winds, Mirage Oasis, Kodama, Abidance, Upheaval. Got the other, another uncommon Upheaval. Got a Martial Training. Peripheral Vision's new. You may rotate. <laughs> you just play it, you may rotate. It's a technique. And we have another Erica Starter, followed by a <laughs> new Q. No, how do, you, how do you pronounce this in uh, Chinese? How do you pronounce that? I don't remember. Pretty cool. I don't know. You are correct. 250 Chi. Nailed it. Hashtag nailed it. One, two, three, four, five. To the back. To the front. Oh, look at that. That's cool looking. I dig that. <laughs> I like that. Empower summon. What does it get? Just health. Resistance. Oh, dark resistance. That's cool. Angelic chains. Is this the same, uh, meant to be the same champion? Uh, is this Nubia? Is this meant to be Nubia? I have found that I just straight up love the Nubia art. Like, I think that is my favorite art for uh, a champion that I've seen. Looks for, oh, look for what? Look for Lightless Tybusina. It's a rare, okay, cool. Tell me also, not just that, also tell me other really cool or really powerful or really exciting cards that we should, we should uh, hope to see within the either this box or the other boxes. Tell me that as well. Let me know because I want to keep my eyes peeled for it. Oh, that's neat. Weighted net. I like that. I'm going to guess that it pulls something down, right? Yeah, they lose flight and aerial abilities. See, okay, this is something else I like. It's the art fits with the name, fits with the ability. So I know I don't necessarily have to know every single interaction. Interaction. That sounds really inappropriate. Interaction within the game. <laughs> I don't need to know everything to know how this card's going to play and work. And that to me is very good design. That to me is very good design. Deathly Return followed by Selective Amnesia. That's really cool. I like that a lot. Uh, have five more cards in their thoughts. Must discard down to five. Cool. Odara. Here's another full art. Followed by Mongul. Mongo. Wait, what happened here? What happened? Oh no. Oh, I put him over here. That's right. Sweet Mongul. We have a group of people watching it at Torch. Oh, that's cool. I love it. I love it. Teach me more about the game as I yell at you. I'm so sorry. I did not mean to come out that hot with the microphone. I got a little close. I apologize. Hope it didn't blow out wherever, whatever speakers. No, dude, I want to know more. I, I think uh, I'm really enjoying it so far. I'm really enjoying it. I, but I'm total. I'm definitely a noob. Look, I, I totally get it. I'm totally new to it. You guys all know more than me. And yet, I just want to present you with something that you enjoy. I hope you enjoy seeing cards opened. Because I enjoy opening cards and talking with people. Um, I'm going to be doing it again tomorrow. And then, spoiler alert, I'm also going to do it on Monday. Um, I will be releasing a, a video where I review the uh, two-player starter set for the game. And also, spoiler alert, if you watch it and you would like to win a copy of the two-player starter set for this game so that you can try it out for yourself, uh, there's going to be a way for you to do that because I still have one sealed. Again, thank you to the guys over at Haunted Castle because they're awesome. Brawler's Momentum, and we got another uh, Sphinx Eater, followed by just Shut Down. This person is just straight up getting shut down. Spoiler alert, this reminds me of some stuff that happens in Legend of Korra. My wife and I are watching through Legend of Korra right now. We just got to season four. Oh, that one's got a little little rough on the uh, rough on the edges there. Kapow, Divine Renewal. Ooh, I like that. What is this one? It's a holy spell. Uh, defense four. Prevent the next four damage dealt to you. Uh, 
by a target in its awareness this round. If you prevented damage with Divine Renewal, you may pay five, and then if you do, you gain three. Cool. That's interesting. I forgot what I was saying. I have a beginner's guide. If you've read the rules, it's a good place to go for info. It's Google Doc. Yes, <laughs> believe it or not, I uh, I had to take a day off of work on Thursday uh, because I, I was going to like some doctor's checkups, you know, like the normal thing you do like every year. Anyway, um, and so I was sitting in the waiting room at one of them, and I was like, I'm just gonna scroll through the subreddit, or was it this? I think it was a subreddit for this for uh, Genesis, and uh, I lo and behold, I came upon your. <laughs> I gave up on your beginner's guide, and I just started scanning through it, and I found it super cool that you made that. So good on you, pious heretic. I know of you already, and I appreciate your work and what you do. I think you're a good person. That's that's how I feel about you. Hi, just wanted to say that you, we have you streaming live at Torchlight Games and Hobbies in Burlington. Well, that's cool. I know. I he he mentioned that. He mentioned it a, a couple minutes ago. That's pretty sweet. O10, Ascendant Teachings. The X is a C, like a Chi, right? Is this Chi Fong? Right? Isn't that correct? I don't know. Someone help me out. Hey, throwing this out there, they've got a wonderful Patreon, which I've also checked out. Um, so you should go check it out. Look, the, the link is right there. Boom. Followed by Sadistic Illusion. Look at that. You can only play it. Look, they, they bolded it and they put it in underlines. <laughs> it's like, don't mess this up. I'm going to bold this text, and then I'm going to underline it. You can only play this if you are being targeted. <laughs> and it's a decoy, so you get to, like, swap, which is cool. <laughs> that's, just a, that's just a funny way to tackle it. Like, guys, understand. This is, a, this is something you need to understand. Call to the bones in chaos, purple, if you like the skeleton warrior. I don't know what that means, but I really like that you're saying that. <laughs> I don't, I, I'm, I'm going to trust you. Oh, yes. Wait, didn't we just say this? Hello, we were just talking about this. There you go. Uh, Beckon him for four, and then he's just got a basic attack. I think this would be cool. Like, just summon a bunch of, like, uh, skeleton warriors. I, ex, uh, not exert. What am I saying? Beckon a bunch of skeleton warriors. Dark Passage. Following this channel for fab, but this game looks interesting. Yeah, come on, man. There is nothing wrong with checking new things out and trying things that you haven't tried before. I, I think that is incredibly healthy. Uh, it's an incredibly healthy thing to try and uh, expand your horizons, particularly when it comes to like card games, you know, because it's so easy to get stuck in a rut and then not realize that you're stuck in a rut. And I absolutely love the idea of just checking out random new stuff. I think that's super important as a person too, just like growing. It's going deep there for a minute. That's just some deep stuff. Trying to get stuff out of the way. I'm just going to need to make another stack. Uncommon Blood Centipede. <laughs> That's evocative. Downpour, again. Followed by the Hallowed Sentry. That's a cool card. That's a cool art. Followed by Odara as a starter. And we got another Divine Covering. Hey, look at this. Oh, God, I just dropped it. Oh, God, I just dropped it. Look, that's pretty cool. Again, I, I like the way I like that this is uh, this is how you're structuring the epics. I think that's really I think that's really smart. Um, it, I feel like it, the more rarities you you push, the more there's a possibility that people think there's a there's like a cash grab going on or trying to like drive up the price. And I'm not saying that that's actually the case. I'm not saying that that's always the case when it comes to like lots of rarities. Like look at Flesh and Blood. They they just dropped a rarity slot. Uh, they dropped the super rare rarity slot. I think that's super smart. And yes, I meant to say super there. <clears throat> so I think it's interesting that you have three rarities. Um, common, uncommon, rare, and then that you include epics as a an alternate art, full art version of a rare, which is just interesting to me. I like that. I like that a lot. I would imagine it makes the chase easier as well. Um, but tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me, sound off if I'm wrong. Odin is a great card to get away from your opponent if they have if they're targeting you. Well, that's good to know. It's good to know. So what time is it where you guys are? Okay, so if you're in Canada, you're probably in what? Either this Eastern or Central? Do they even delve? I don't know. Do they delve into a Pacific time zones? I'm not sure. Diabolical Roar. That's really cool art. 
Ah, Instill Vigor. I've heard good things about this card. Target Summon and Instill Vigors. Oh, yeah, I read this one, too. Next attack, they play deals additional two damage. Solid. It's a solid card right there. Call to the Bones allows you to put three Skeleton Warriors from an outside the game zone in a play, in play, in Call of the Bones Awareness. That's cool. I like that, too. Hey. Got another full art. This is also something that I very much like. If the entire game is centered around for a newer rare to start with fewer. Yeah, I totally agree. And then as you grow, you can add, add rarities from there. I also think it's really cool. If, if the whole game is centered around champions, why not present a champion card that uh, is just really, really beautiful? You know, and then you can sleeve it on the other side of things. It's kind of what the uh, Dice Masters is doing with some of their basic actions, where you can sleeve up the full art textless version of the card that just has the pretty art um, on the back side of the other card that you can read. So that's pretty cool. Whoa, look at this. Yamanduta. Yamanduta, yeah. Yamaduta, there it is. You can only play Yamaduta's resurrection ability if you had another summon that's been killed this round. So it's got a dark attack that's a swift, and then a swift uh, quick resurrect beckon. Place it on a spot where a summon has been killed this round facing the same direction as you, then exert it. <laughs> it just keeps coming back. That's cool. That's really cool. Canada has multiple time zones, sure. I would, I would imagine so, because Canada is just, just giant, right? Just giant. But it's a beautiful place. I've been there only once, and only briefly, and it is a place that I would love to go back to. I don't know. Um, I haven't been there enough to really, to really know a lot about it, which is which is sad to say. You know, I think more people should. God, she's so cool. I don't know if uh, if you play this game. If you play it, tell me about Nubia because, like I said, literally top hero in my opinion for art. Love the art that they've done around Nubia. Gut punch, Canopy Merlin. <laughs> it's a fun name for a card. I will be playing Canopy, Canopy Merlin now. Undead Servitude. Whip Smash. There's another good one. Martial Training. You know, it would be just my luck that I would like really, really like Nubia and then she's like unplayable. Hey, would you look at that? Would you look at that? It's 945. Okay, so you're you're on that side of the world. Cool. You're on the uh, on the eastern time zone kind of thing. Mm. Hey, we were just talking about this card. And this is really cool looking. I dig it. I like that a lot. That's fun. What do we got? Only a few. Oh, hey. Oh, I just peeked. Flight. It's flight. No one panic. One, two, three, four, five. Mmm. Kraken packs. Head slip. Engulfing wrath. That's another cool card. We've seen it a few times, but it's still really cool when you look at it. Empowering summon. Okay, so this is the kind of this is the kind of thing that uh, that I'm thinking about. So the art on this card. Um, what is the best way to describe this art style? What's the best way to describe the art style? Does it have any U.S. distribution? That's a great question. I really don't know that answer. I really don't know. But I bet you, if they're still watching over at Torchlight Games. I bet you some of them can uh, chime in. Fleet-footed. If a champion or someone in fleet-footed's awareness is pacified, then you may move and rotate. Oh, cool. It's a little synergy with uh, pacify triggers and things like that. Float. Shadow Master. Luminous Coverings. Shoulder Hop. Then we have the Flight that I peeked at, which is cool looking. Breath of Jailara. J uh, Jailara. Jailara. Why did I say Jailara? Jailara. Then we have by who? Oh, oh, what happened? What, why is that there? That's weird. I guess any card could fit in that slot. Archon of Vigor. Archon of Vigor for the rare. Why is this common in there? Does anything just slot into that spot right there? It's not just tokens and... Uh, and I keep wanting to call them heroes, but they're not heroes. It's not just tokens and champions. It's, uh, it's anything can fall in that slot. Trigger is she draws two cards every round. Oh, yeah, that's right. I did look at her, yeah. Swift attack, uh, one in front, one awareness. Maybe it's what, yeah. So I, I I remember the card, but the question is, is she good? <laughs> I don't know. You'll have to tell me. Tell me if she's good. But thank you for uh, chiming in. Dusk Trail Mouse by who? I mean, drawing cards in just about every game is good. There's there's very few games where drawing cards is bad. I can't. <laughs> Uno, Uno, it's bad to draw cards. 
bad to draw cards in Uno, but in general, when you have more resources in the form of cards or things that you can do, I would imagine that's pretty solid. Inferno Lash back. Golden Langer. That's cool. I haven't seen this card before. So pay nine to get it out. Uh, Holy Attack two, and then everything adjacent to it gains dark resistance. Oh, that's so cool. Another Selective Amnesia, followed by another Weighted Net. Followed by a Coon and a Water Pillar. This is a thing in this set um, where they leaned into like pillars, um, elemental kind of things, which I think is interesting. It's a I, I listened to the uh, podcast that they put out on this. Or was it a YouTube video? I'm not sure, but I found it interesting, the conversations that they had about that. That design choice. Card draw wins games. You are correct. This is also true if you run out. If you, if you just get decked, you know? If you get decked, you lose. <clears throat> Truth all across the board. Whoa, look at that. Lion Mane Rabbit. Yeah, so someone tell me, what is the, uh, what's the art style present in this set? Because it is definitely a different, a distinct look compared to the set that we're going to open after this, which is the previous set to this. Dark Passage, Shock Lizard. It definitely comes across... I don't know. I, I, so, funny story. I was an art major for a bit before I changed to a music major in college. And so we took a lot of, hey, nice, another Galata Baboon. Arcane Blast, that's a cool one. So we took a lot of like art history and things like that. Uh, Rompo, oh, hello there. Hello there with a the Divine Renewal coming in. Another powerful card for some. Breath of Jailara is another powerful card for summons. That's cool. In this game, your deck is your timeline, so if you deck out, your life is ended. Um, she can put together some big combos, though. This card looks so pretty. I dig it. And followed by a Lightless Tybacena, which also, this is a really cool art. I like that. But just the use of color here is a, a little bit more, um, I don't want to say pastel, because it's not. It's definitely more muted, and the art style is is definitely distinct and different almost kind of comes across as um, Middle Eastern to a certain degree like I don't know how best to explain it I would love if you can explain it better than me those that are that are just better at all of it than I am tell me how you would describe it and I will I will love to listen to you tell me or a transmutation a dark passage shock lizard cattail tiger Skeleton Warrior, Sea Crate, Baihu, another uh, Sphinx Eater, Goliath Sphinx Eater. Okay, this is something I also don't know. Is there a, a card limit? Is there like, you can play um, three Goliath Sphinx Eaters in your deck. Is there a card limit to that? Because I must have missed it. I scanned over it. And of course I will be continuing to, uh, to scan through as we go and just like learn more about the game. But tell me since you're here and you're smart, you're smart. You're wonderful people. Tell me about it. Hey, another water pillar. We got two of those. Got two of them. Ta-da! Guys, we're down to uh, one, two, three, four, five packs from this uh, set. This box. Avum Exitum. Empower Summon. Angelic Chains. Underworld Knowledge. This is another hero who is Raha, right? I think it's Raha, and uh, I, I find her very cool as well. So I watched um, I watched a gameplay video, sort of like a how to play mixed with a gameplay. It's just like a, a like first game recording, and I was entranced by this idea of Raha up against the dude that tries to punch you in the face, whose name I forgot already. Um, where she's just trying to dance around the board, stay away. Firemaster's dance. And that, hey, oh my goodness. <laughs> hey, look, we should just literally, you stay, oh, okay, you can just have any number of one card. That's a cool thing. I like that. Speaking of cool things, hey, we just need to talk about these cards, and they'll show up in packs. That's literally all we need to do. Hey, let's just talk about them, and show they'll show up in packs. Followed by an air pillar. Air pillar's pretty cool looking. <laughs> Hey man, let's just br start bringing up, start bringing up really, really good cards. Everyone, do it. Sound off in chat. Bring up really good cards. Also, everyone should like and subscribe. I bet you that little bot keeps popping up and saying that. 
<laughs> you should. Hey, if you're watching somewhere, go do that right now. Go do that. If that was a, if that's a sweet poll, you should go. You should go like and subscribe. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I find that so funny. I don't know. For the life of me, I never really liked plugging the YouTube channel. I just like doing this stuff for fun. But <laughs> I do think there's some like, I guess some sarcastic humor in that. So how much is a pack a box? <clears throat> Good question. I was looking on Amazon.ca for them, and it's around the price that you would normally expect for like a booster box for a game, so like 90 bucks is what I found myself. But I don't know if there's people driving up prices because boxes are more difficult to get in certain regions. So don't quote me on that. Um, double check me. Check it out. And then I would imagine that uh, you could then take that uh, total number and then divide it per pack. Uh, but as I said, don't quote me on that. We got the Odara. We got the, the full art. That's not a duplicate right now. Oh my god, yeah it is. Look. I forgot they did this. Look at that. I prefer this art myself, but they're both cool. I do like that though. I think that's really interesting. And the final card is a Chiasmodon. Chiasmodon? We're going to go with that. We're going to go with that's what it's called. <laughs> you can only play its resurrect ability if something has been killed this round. And three pack, no, four packs left. Let's just start cruising. Let's start cruising. I will say this: I want to open the the, uh, the other box so badly because, like I said, um, that art just it hits for me. It hits. Stable footing, wrist throw, engulfing wrath, fleet footed. Jalaran Mist, Luminous Covering, Dark Corruption, Lion Mane Rabbit, Dark Loa, Knee Rattle. We got the Brawler's Momentum. Flight again, we got another Flight. A Whip Smash, followed by a Common Skeleton Warrior and a Revenge of the Phoenix. A little bit of stuff on the bottom there. Swift, Execute, Prevent All Damage Dealt to You by Target Attack Ability that is targeting you, and then it has a Trigger. Uh, if you've prevented damage with it, then you may deal X fire damage to target uh, to a target in its awareness, where X is the damage prevented. So you just redirect it, which is cool because this is also straight up the art on the box. Oh no! There we go. Fixed it. It's the art from the box, which I very much like. I think that's great art. Looks good too. Looks good on the card. I'm saving that pack for last because it makes me happy. Maybe not tonight, but it would be cool to see an analysis of how much you get in a box. How many copies of each? It would, I agree. Yeah, I'm probably not going to break it down while I have it laid out, but I would like to know that. And I'm sure there's somebody out there that has done that. I have found a couple of YouTube channels while I was looking around um, that does uh, stuff with it, which is kind of nice. It's good, to, um, it's good to dive into something and, and be able to have resources, which again is why I really enjoyed that beginner's guide that I found. So if you're still out there, Pius, you're, you're awesome. Well done. I appreciate it. Commons, commons, commons everywhere. Rompo, followed by a peripheral vision. Just rotate. Followed by a Makara. Where do you put the emphasis in this word? Makara, right? That's how I would say it. Ah, core. Wait, do we already have a core? Yes, we do. I like, uh, I like both of them, actually. I'm not going to lie. Both, I think, are very cool. Again, it's really cool to uh, to think about the fact that because this is all champion-based, because it's based on the character, why not give alternate art, full art, uh, like give them the things that they can bling out their decks with. Hey, well, this is a third one of these because we got a Divine Renewal epic and then of one of these, and this is number three. Stocked up, man. Stocked up. Man, this has been fun so far. I like this. There we go. <laughs> the problem with uh, pack openings is it makes this uh, makes my office here very messy. <laughs> but hey, that's a small price to pay. You sit in a chair and open packs. That's that's still really fun, right? Dark Passage, Martial Training, then followed by Hallowed Sentry, Selective Amnesia, got a uh, Token Starter, and a Giant Scorpion. A giant scorpion. Okay, I picked this pack for last because, again, I, I do really think that this is an amazing-looking 
just art where where you take the uh, art all the way up through the bleed. This one does have uh, does have some metallic on the top, but I, I think that's a really cool way to do your packs. Yeah, you probably could. That's pretty cool, man. CCM over here. CCM, where what uh, what town or city are you in? That is pretty cool that you live uh, two hours from their printing facility. You should definitely check it out. And you should let me know if there's people around you that play, and then you should get into it a little bit, and then you should get online and we should play. I know, that, that was a, like a long laundry list of things you should do. <laughs> but you should do all of them, so there you go. Dense Fog. Weighted Net yet again. Got the Wind Slash. We got a Core and a <laughs> Divine Covering. Hey, is that interesting or what? Is this is this meant to be? So we have this. We have these. Is this just like a thing that happens? Where they allow you to pull duplicates in a box? Or is that just like um, luck of the draw, as they say? Oh, that this looks too... Too planned. Oh, only one of those. Too planned. Look at that. You can't really see it. So you have the... Uh, this. You have this. You have divine covering, divine covering, followed by divine covering in epic. <clears throat> and then you have. It is pretty new. It is pretty new. Particularly if you don't live in Canada. It's very new if you don't live in Canada. Divine re uh, renewal, divine renewal, and the epic divine renewal. But like I said, this is a tactical trading card game, which means. You're not playing it like a traditional sit down at a table and then just put a card on a table and not do anything besides like maybe turn it a little bit, <laughs> right? You're playing it with movement and um, some really cool spatial decision making, which I very much like the thought of. So box number one, divine covering. So these are these are some of the, the rares, but epic, epic, epic. Those are pretty sweet. Love the full art idea. Followed by, and these, I don't know, these may not be as uh, nearly as um, impactful, I may find later down the road, but I love full art cards, and that one looks so cool. And uh, so full art champions makes me happy. All right, so that is the full opening of Rays, which is the most recent set. It released like uh, two months ago, is that right? Someone quote me on that. Two months ago, something like that. Very recently. All right, I'm gonna take these ones and I'm gonna set them gently over here because I'm excited to dig into WTJ is what I'm calling it. So I don't have to totally mispronounce the, the name every single time. These, what should I do with them? I'll just off to the side so we can get rolling. That's what I think, off to the side so we can get rolling. So yes, we're opening this, could be new to you. I mean, it's new to me, technically. This new to me. Does it play like those commanding wise? Um, in what sense do you uh, in what sense do you mean icebound jester eight? In what sense does it play like that? In the sense that they have cards, <laughs> in that sense, which is a little bit disingenuous. Um, yes and no. Like you're you're paying resources to play cards and do effects, so there's some similarities there. But you are doing all of this on a five by six gridded board. And then once you once you summon a, a creature, I'm gonna use Magic the Gathering terms. Once you summon a creature, uh, in this game you would say once you beckon a summon, um, it can move around the board. Oh God, look at that. That's pretty. That's really pretty. Yes, it has a stack like Magic and the stack is um, really convenient to understand how the game functions. I will say attacking is a little different um, in certain ways. Attacking is a little different in certain ways. And it may be one of those scenarios, uh, Evan, where it may look like it's not available to a certain degree, but they, they might have uh, plans to bring it. But I would definitely keep your eyes peeled. And it's possible that uh, you could dig in and find a place to pick it up. Okay, look. This is what I'm telling you. The art in this set and the beta set are just something that really makes me happy that I think look really cool 
and I actually have hopes. <laughs> I looked through both of the card lists for both uh, sets, and I looked at the epics, which are the full art uh, rares, and I actually do, oh, the pack is different. Okay, hold on. If I flip it over, it's a common. Okay, maybe this uh, has a different uh, different structure. Got the Ainu Wolf. Since it relies on a grid, then is a game that it's only playable in person and I found a way to do it. No, because technically, you can play gridded games on, um, oh God, not just on Tabletop Simulator, which you can. There's another, there's another, um, online game i forget what they call it online game site where it it literally builds a grid for you and you can play cards there nevertheless oh the, but there's an online free version available on tabletop simulator which is amazing tabletop simulator if you, i think it's ten dollars right now i think i'm well unless the the sale ended tabletop Sim simulator you should have picked that up at the beginning of the pandemic if you didn't i'm sorry for you because it's amazing bone elephant that's cool. Oh, that's pretty. What a glow. What a beautiful little glow. I thought that said Alex Ross down here as the artist. Finishing blow. Draconis Naga. Unhinged. She looks a bit unhinged. Ooh, look at all of the uh, look at all of the flavor text tucked in there. I'm a fan of that. Uh, J. Lauren Waters. Manathor. Walls of Vadis. Got the Gray Wolf. Hey, okay, so they're going to do it this way. They're going to do it backwards. Primordial Force. That's a cool looking card. Primordial Force, followed by a full art Idiris, which is cool. We got the Elemental Dominance. That is cool looking. Look at that. That's cool. The Rajasi Lion and the Jalaren. Jay Lauren. Jay Lauren. The J. Lauren Hound. I'm gonna say that so many times wrong until I say it right. Let's let's center it like this. Let's let's give him the old razzle dazzle here. The designs team supports it. Ooh, that's even better. That's even better. The fact that it's not just put together by a uh, a fan after the fact, but that you have the design team uh, putting it together. Okay, so it's gonna go commons, then rare, then uncommons in that order. That's fine. That's fine. We don't have to mess around with the pack. We got the Pale Fox. We got the Baboon Spider. Bone Elephant. So again, you're summoning, and I'm going to use different terms than the ones they use in the game, so that if you're new to the game, which more likely than not you probably are, because I am too, you're summoning creatures onto the field, or you're beckoning summons in, in the game, and you're moving them around, and you're moving you around, um, and you're trying to corner or you know, play back at attack your opponent from afar or up close depending on how your champion plays which is super interesting strangle vines is cool displace look at that that is cool looking move to a spot in displaces awareness neat by the way i, I should have mentioned this previous check out the uh, the grid where it shows you how you can go about um interpreting it's the right word interpreting the cards uh, awareness and that sort of stuff uh, if area of effect, I guess is a better way to say that. Landslide. Foresight of the Ancients. That is so cool looking. Oh my goodness. Draw a card for each ability on the stack. Oh, dude, that's great. That's super cool. Ah, okay. So this, you'll if you buy or get your hands on a two-player starter set, you'll get a ton of these. Um, this is like the resources that you'd pay. And I'm again, I'm just going to say this is the resources that you pay. Um, while you're playing cards, using effects, that sort of thing. So you're paying these resources, you set them out off to the side, and you start with a full set of resources. And as you play the game, as you trigger effects, as you do things, you pay these. So you're, think of it like uh, the, the easiest way, the first thing that pops into mind is like, uh, <laughs> is like Monopoly money. You start with this amount of Monopoly money and you're slowly paying it away until you run out of, of it, possibly to a certain degree. Uh, but you're slowly seeing that stack down, and you're having to decide how you're how you're uh, spending all of your resources, which is again really cool, man. It's really cool. Shadows grasp, smoke bomb, that's really cool too. Oh, look at this! Nice use of the radial blur. I like that. That's really cool. I dig that. Pious heretics coming all in with all the all the knowledge. 
I appreciate you. He's got the got the links and everything. <coughs> yeah, you should also check out their website. Check out the website. I showed you the uh, screen, or I, I guess I showed you the Patreon link. Uh, I'll put the link in the description. Check out their website. It's highly worth it. Reckless Demolition. Quick Shot. Silver-Legged Recluse. Rampage Toss. Displace. No Man's Land. Neutralize Attributes. A baboon Spider. And a Sandstorm for the rare. Sandstorm, which is a card we also saw in the previous uh, box opening as well. How much is that? Oh, look at that. That's cool. How often is that done? Um, the reprints within the boxes. Because this is like what? There was an alpha set, there was a beta set, there was this set which we're opening, and then there was rays, right? So there's technically like four sets. I don't know the the difference between alpha and beta if it was just like a straight reprint or if it were more cards. I'd love to know though. This is amazing looking. Love that. This <laughs> It's also amazing looking. What the heck, man? That looks so cool. That looks so cool. Now, I don't actually know what this card does, so we need to pull this card. <laughs> Malefic. Malefic. Malefic Shakti. I think is how you pronounce it, but I don't know, man. Inferno Pits. Also really cool looking. Epiphany. Subjugation Strike. Which is a cool name for a... Uh, Cool name for a card, Subjugation Strike. Is this game like Anachronism? I don't know what Anachronism is, but I want to know. Tell me about Anachronism. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that, but it looks cool. Look at the art on that guy. He's straight up, straight up evil. Cleave. Hey, I know Cleave. <laughs> Take to the skies. Disenchant. Target uh, champion and disenchant. Okay, sacrifice a skill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, I appreciate that. It's called Disenchant. It acts like disenchanting something. Nailed it. Hashtag nailed it. That's cool looking too. Dark Strength. Oops. Boop. Dark Strength. Rebound. Direct Defense. Ooh, Holy Imbue. That's cool looking too. Teleportation and the rare is Volcanic Eruption. Reveal the top card of your timeline and send it to your memories. Then do one of the following. If you revealed a 3 or a 4 chi card, you deal 2 earth damage to everything in its awareness. If you reveal a 5, 6, or 7, then you deal 2 earth damage to everything around you. And then if you revealed an 8, you deal 3 earth damage to everything. Everything else. So you don't deal it to yourself, but everything. That's really cool. Got a uh, token. I wonder if this... Hey, check it out. Yeah, look. There's everything you need to know. Boom, 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 boom. That's everything you need to know right there. Followed by a power punch. I'm going to put this up there. Power punch. Then we have Cathedrals of Vadis, which is really cool looking. This would look amazing in um, full art, I bet, if the uh, picture extends, which it looks like it does. You can see it in the background there. Phoenix Fire. Okay, look. Look, you guys. I, this card, this art right here, I would appreciate this art in a full poster, and I would put it, I'd put it back there. This is like my favorite image in the that I've seen in the game. This is so cool, and I this just hits me the right way. Like that, just the image right there, it just totally hits me the right way. It's old grid fighting game. National Geographic was involved. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, you know what? I totally heard about that game. Yes, I've totally heard of that game. And and it used like um, ancient warriors from different cultures and stuff. Totally heard of that. I don't know if that, I never played it, obviously. Um, because I hadn't, I think when it was around, I hadn't really dug into uh, card games. Believe it or not, here I am on a YouTube channel I've been running for almost, no, for four years, right? And I uh, hadn't gotten into card games. Uh, interesting story how that all played out in my life. <laughs> for better or for worse. I spent a lot of money on card games. Uh, but I've enjoyed making content for all you guys. And a rare is Healing Fire. She's straight up getting shot. <laughs> oh, wait, no, 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 okay. That's a Healing Blast, right? We gotta assume that's a Healing Blast. Got to assume, otherwise... Otherwise, she'd be just straight up getting shot. <laughs> by a laser. Fang. 
Hurricane Sweep. I'll put this up there. Hurricane Sweep. Got the Power Punch. Oh, I put this in the wrong stack because I'm done. Here we go. Power Punch. And an Underworld Dealings. Ooh, that looks really cool. Four years. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. I started it uh, May or maybe June. No, the first upload was in like June. I don't know. Started it May of 2016. And here we are in 2020. I've always just done this for fun. It's This is a wonderful hobby. Um, at least to me it is. I think there's a lot of people out there that um, I guess want to start a YouTube channel and, and make content because the, rightly so. They would love to make it big and it would be a good job. And I, I totally agree with them. But um, for me, I, I guess it was never really that. Never really that. It was really just because I liked the people that I was playing games with and I wanted to make stuff they would enjoy. And I didn't stop. <laughs> I think it's the biggest one. This art on this one's really cool too. I really like the art on this as well. Yeah, it's been it's been four fun years and I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. Fearmonger. What are we looking at here? What are, so it looks like a rib cage and this would look like a head. I don't know exactly what we're looking at, but I enjoy the use of the color. Because the green and the purple is, is sickening in a good way. Uh, Gale, we got Gale, and the rare is Divine Intervention. Do they do that? Oh yeah, that's the that's literally the bordering where they tear off the bottom. It looks like a like a scroll. It's really cool. I dig it. Oh, thank you. Good lord. Okay, look. I I appreciate everybody, and I appreciate this was the Nubia de uh, pack too. I appreciate all of the the different heroes and stuff. But look, I just want I want this card <laughs> in full art. That's what I want. That's literally that's that's what I'm at right now in my life. Is just wanting that in full art because it looks so cool. That or or the um, the one that I pointed out earlier, which I've blanked on the name. It's a rare, and it's her. It's literally the art for the card that the name I looked up saw that it existed and said, "Dang, that's cool. That's cool." Nubia is just cool. Maybe that's just like that's just where I'm at. Here we go, Behemoth. Pyro, no, Proskinesis. Proskinesis, yeah, that's how you'd say that. Proskinesis, something to that effect. Another Fearmonger, we got another Gale. Shadow Claw. Yeah, I mean, I, and I just wanna stop for a moment. The, the art on, let me find a card that really kind of exemplifies it. Hey, even this one to a certain degree. Like, the art style from that to this previous set, I, I feel like there is a there's a marked difference, like particularly with this card, which really is going for that. Um, obviously, this is this is a character that does appear Indian in descent, um, but it, it even goes for like the flatter, less um, three dimensional look. It kind of gives that freeze look, meaning like freeze on a stat or on a uh, on a statue. Well, it's kind of a statue. Um, on a not a tapestry on a sculpture on a wall why am i blanking on the words i don't know but that's what it appears there's a difference there's a, definitely a difference which is interesting all right here we go with the rare whoa look at that anger of the phoenix pretty cool looking card attach it as a skill and then trigger it the first executor attack ability you play each round is reduced by two what two cost is that two cost no i can't tell at the end of the round you lose one health whoa that's interesting that is super interesting. And then Malak. Here's Malak. That's actually the first Malak card we have, like the first Malak uh, hero card. Celestial Cage is cool. Another Underworld Dealings. You get to look at the uh, top X cards of your deck. Put one of those into your thoughts and the rest in your memories. <laughs> I like that. I appreciate that. Smoke Bomb to finish that pack out. Boop ba doop boop. Neutralize attributes. I knew Wolf. Behemoth the Cub with the solid art for that glow. Fearmonger. Draconis Naga. Shadow Claw. J Larian is how you'd say that. J Larian Waters. The the bull. The bull dude. Laser bull. You got chain lightning. 
followed by a Vorpal Blade, which is a classic, classic card, or not card, a classic thing in um, in D and D. You deal two holy damage to target in Vorpal Blade's awareness. If a champion or summon is dealt damage by it, it does not have. If it does not have holy weakness, it gains holy weakness until the end of the round. Cool. That's really cool, and it's a spell. Ah, interesting. Long, nice. Put that right there. Full art, long. That's cool looking. I dig that. Followed by a coercive command. See, the coloring is clearly clearly more vibrant on these cards in this set, the art in this set, and adrenaline. Ooh, that's cool. Got some serious uh, <laughs> Dragon Ball Z vibes from that card just then. I dig it. Cognitive Restriction. Bingo. Yes, Cognitive Restriction. Thank you. And it's got a solid ability. At least it appears to me as a, as a uh, casual card gamer to be a solid ability. Dark Brand. That looks really cool, too. So, John, did you do art from, for this set as well, or did you pick up art in, uh, in Rays? I'm curious. Holy Suppression. Wait a minute. Oh, no. I saw it again. I thought, oh, no, Alex Ross. That's amazing. This is cool looking. Androthera. Holy Imbue. Cleave. Gust. Followed by Puppet Control. You gain control of target summon and Puppet Control's awareness with Chi X or less. So depending on how much life you pay, you can gain control. Do you gain control, period, like forever? I'm curious. I bet you you do because it doesn't say until like end of turn. Um, but yeah, that's a really cool card. Oh, look at that. We have an epic. This is only the second epic we've pulled. I'm curious. We pulled, what, one, two, three from the last box? So two here now. You card in unity? Yes, yes. That is cool. Phoenix Fire. Heavy Defense. And the J. Larian Hound. So I've been, uh, I, I kind of kept my eyes out for some of the, kind of like the powerful cards. And uh, tell me, tell me if we've hit any of them. Off the top of my head, I don't think we have, right? Some of those ones that are, are more powerful, like they're, oh, what's the, I don't know. Maybe we'll find it and then I'll remember the name of it. Quick shot, left hook, followed by, cha Guardian of Balance. Ooh, that's really cool. I like that, looks cool. Pay 17 to uh, summon it, then or beckon it, then uh, when he enters the arena, prevent all damage dealt until the end of the round, and then deals five heavy damage to a target and its awareness. What's the difference between heavy damage and normal damage? Nubia coming out. Look at that Nubia art. That's the alternate Nubia art, right? Followed by Leap and Blackstone Golem and Haunted Catacombs. That's really cool looking. I bet you this card would look insane with foiling. If you put foiling on this, that would probably look insane. Oh, it's cool. It's a it's an alteration that uh, has a build cost, and then you place it where you are. I, I dig that. I dig it. Heavy attack is action speed. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Rampage toss. Elemental mastery. I like the three arrows. All different elements. It's cool. No Man's Land. Alteration, so you put it on the board. Alterations, you uh, you generally place... Here, I'll just show it. Generally place it on the board, and it does something. Uh, place it on an unoccupied spot in the arena, and then whenever a champion or summon moves onto it or is placed into it, then all summons that can target it with an attack ability must play their attack ability against it. It's cool. Again, I like the idea of playing... I mean, if you're, if you're building a... Uh, a board-based tactical game, then like lean into that, right? And I think that's a really cool way to do that. Finishing blow and Gale, followed by Unhinge with a Malefic Shock T. So this is one of the ones that we got in uh, an epic, and it says Swift cast, discard one and eight resources. Uh, you deal three dark damage to target in um, Malefic Shock T's awareness. So it just pops for three dark damage. Interesting. And look, look, a 20, followed by Inferno Pits, and Psychic Assault, and a good old-fashioned Leap. Just move yourself around, dig it. 
I'm gonna hop out. It's been nice. Man, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for hanging out. You know, we're not too too far from the finish, but I appreciate that you that you swung by and I think you're you're a great person. I do. I mean if you're if you're sticking around and you're commenting and telling me how your day was and all that, then I appreciate that. That makes me have a better day. Believe it or not, your presence makes me have a better day. You have that effect on people, and you should remember that, even when times are tough. And trust me, times are pretty tough right now for some people. But understand that you have a positive effect on people wherever you go, even if it's through the internet. You can have a positive effect. So just don't forget it, everybody. Don't forget it, because it's easy to forget it sometimes. Demon's Rage, look at that craziness. Look at that craziness. That is so cool. You deal four range dark damage to everything in its awareness. <laughs> that looks really neat. And then a, whoa, this is a an alternate art Adiris. I, I really like that. The lighting, the way that they, they cast the light on her, uh, her tunic and her clothes is really cool. Dig it. Another Underworld Dealings. I put that down here. Duh. That was a full art. Didn't even mention that. Hey, Death Eater. This is a solid card, right? No, wait. I'm thinking of something different. Another Psychic Assault. I'm thinking of something different, aren't I? I did design a, a, of cards starting in rays. Okay, cool. They're on the right of the card. Deering, welcome to Jay. I was part of external testing team. Oh, okay, neat. See, that's good to know. Neat, neat, neat. Dark brand. Fire protection. Holy suppression. That's cool looking. Searing light. Androthera. Not going to try it. <laughs> <laughs> Look, leave. Take to the skies, followed by, uh, wow, that's cool. Cabus. So beckon, discard one. So in order to bring this out, you have to pay one. It's got two health. Place it on a spot adjacent to you facing the same direction, then exert it. Okay. Um, Cabus deals two dark damage to target and its awareness. Interesting. So it's just straight up little dude. But why is it a rare? It's just really cool looking. It's literally emanating from her. That's neat. I like that. Followed by a uh, token, a stack token card. Uh, Draco's Caverns, Vadis Sphinx, a Sunrise Fox. Neat. Wait, what was this? Oh, this is a bunch of comments that I set aside. Cobbis is really good. Only cost is discard. I guess that's a really good point, right? Only cost is discard in a game of dwindling resources. It's great. That's a really good point. I didn't think about that. When things start to uh, taper off, I guess towards the end, you don't have to pay anything for it. It's pretty, pretty solid. Disenchant, Dark Strength, Thunderstruck, Fire Protection, you know, Ryukyu Rabbit, Searing Light, Direct Defense. Not even gonna try it. Zombie Lion. We're just calling him Zombie Lion. Got the teleportation, followed by Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> look, I don't even care if it's not the best card in the world. You would know more than I would, but this card looks so good. It looks so good, okay? I don't even care. Negate target ability played by target champion in its awareness, which is just so cool. Ah, that card, that art is really solid. Pretty sweet. Okay, Shockwave. Got the shockwave, got the subjugation strike. Right, so this card, I believe there's an epic, right? There's an epic for this card. Is there an epic for all rares? I would imagine there is. Uh, but that, that would be the epic right there, man. Just because I want that art blown up real big and put behind me because it's solid. Because it's solid. Ooh, geez, I just could not get that pack to get off my finger. There we go. Draconis Naga. Unhinge. This is a this is a game that I really want to sit down with a couple of my friends that I play uh, Dice Masters with and uh, just shoot a couple games out and give it a whirl. We have a couple of demo decks here. I have some of these demo decks and I want to try and uh, knock a couple games out. Maybe record them and see see how they go and just see like the play feeling. I think feeling's so important when you play a card game, just in general, what it feels like to uh, to play. <laughs> Formosan Gorilla. <laughs> you pay 14 to bring him in. He's got a ranged earth attack, which is solid. And then he deals two uh, ranged earth damage to target its awareness as well. What's the difference here? 
Oh, when it enters the arena, it uh, it triggers and then deals damage. That's cool. So it comes in and pops. Ah, this is another card I wanted. The uh, full art Raha looks really cool. Second favorite uh, art, probably, as far as uh, heroes go. Tattered Remains. Coercive Command. And the Library. Look at that. It's got some libraries here. Again, I think some of these cards would look insane foiled. And I think I saw a video... I think I saw a video that foil was a thing. That oh, that was, that's not opening. That you could uh, that that foil you could expect foils down the road. That's a possibility. I don't know. Tell me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure I saw that. And if you didn't see that, go check out the uh, Genesis YouTube channel. Go check it out. I'm gonna put these off to the side here. Boom. We got the uh, rampage toss followed by a displays followed by a uh, rapier precision. Which is interesting, because uh, Rapier Precision would, I guess, uh, insinuate that you're using a Rapier, but instead you're just firing an arrow. Attach Rapier Precision as a skill, and then whenever you play an attack action, or sorry, whenever you play an attack ability, you may pay three, and if you do, it deals one additional damage. I like that. Kendra. Boop. Phoenix Fire again. Rajasi Lion. And an Angel's Embrace. Oop, getting down. We're, we're working our way down. Looks like seven left. Seven left, and then we're then we're out. Seven left, and then we're out. Then you gotta reload, right? Look, there's the uh, demonic lion, zombie lion. We're calling him zombie lion. Cleave, take the skies. Dude's just flying, straight up flying. Disenchant, dark strength. Got the dark strength. Look at him, looking. Is he looking happy? I can't tell. There's an app. Oh, no way. There's a companion app. That's that's solid. Good recommendation, Torchlight Games. Good recommendation. Rebound followed by... Whoop. Oh, Bolt Shot. There you go. This is another art that I really like, which can be found on the packs. Papa, pa, pa You can deal four range damage to everything in its awareness. Okay. So if you line your... If your opponents line themselves up, then, uh, then they're just asking for it, right? Just asking for it. We got the Shadow's Grasp. It has the rule book uh, as well as the character full arts to display on your phone with... Uh, oh, see, that's super good. And you can track your aura, which I, I've been calling resources this whole time not to try and confuse people. That's really good, though. You can you can track your aura rather than using the aura cards, which, uh, you know, it's neither here nor there. There's going to be some people, I bet, that really like using the cards just because it's tactile. But uh, I don't know. If it's easier to just track it on the phone, I might just lean that way. Plus, it means you have less cards on the table, which is pretty solid, right? Disenchant. Dwajin. Dark Strength. I, I think he's happy. I think he's smiling. He's happy that he's that he's buffed up. Rebound. Direct Defense. Holy Imbue. Teleportation. Facing any direction. I like this. You just place yourself wherever you want. That's solid. Gust. Blazing Strike. Huajin again. No, Hawajin. Ooh, Ajna Tiger. Cool. It's a quick beckon. Uh, place it on a spot adjacent to you facing the same direction, then exert it. So you just bring it in, and then when it enters the arena, remove all exert tokens from it. So it comes in and it's unexerted. Interesting. Ajna Tiger deals three damage to target and its awareness. So it just has an, a, a basic attack, but it's got five health which is solid, and it deals three when it attacks. And it's also beautiful, so just go with it. It's also beautiful, so just go with it. We got long, which we had the uh, the full art version, so now it's easier to uh, slide those in the same sleeve, and you can see them both. But at the same time, Libraries of Sahas, Decoy Rabbit. <laughs> decoy Rabbit. In, in the heat of battle, when you just need a break, you just hold up the bunny and just throw it at your opponent. <laughs> That's so funny. Celestial Cage. That's a funny card. I appreciate the humor within that. I'm avoiding taking the uh, the packs that look like this because they just look too good. They just look too good. Do we get another epic in this? Let's let's find out. That's the real question. That's the real question. We got Shadow Claw, J J Larian Waters. Man of Thor, Chain Lightning, Walls. We got some walls. We got some Dark Brand. Okay, so what are some like? Uh, this is a one health creature. What are some? 
what are some archetypes within this? Is there an archetype where you just build a bunch of alterations onto the board? Is that a thing? I bet you it's not, just because that seems too kind of like hilarious to me. But that would be pretty hilarious if that was a thing, if you could do that. If that was like a an actual archetype. Just play a bunch of alterations. I think that would be neat. Ooh, that's a pretty card. Again, this card would look phenomenal in foil. Gilded Stag. Yeah, that is that is super nifty. Thank you for chiming in, LA Squirrel Queen. La Squirrel Queen. I, I don't know how you'd prefer that, but I'm going to say it both ways. Gilded Stag is super cool, too. It's got, uh, you beckon and you pay that for it. And then Gilded Stag deals three holy damage to target in its awareness, so anything on these points. And then it's got a swift attack as well. It deals two to everything in its awareness. Oh, that's cool. Ah, oh, that's so solid. That's solid. I like that. That's really cool. We actually have both now. That is super cool. I dig it. Followed by a Tatter Remains. The Cathedrals of Vadis and a Stampeding Force. Okay, we're down to one, two, three, four, five. And the five. That is pretty nifty. I, I dig that. Summon something at swift speed or beckon something at swift speed. Pops in quick. Inferno Ghoul. And that'll make more sense when you, uh, when you understand the speeds of the game. Because there's different speeds that things can happen. Which is what I was reading up on before... Before we went live, actually, I was just kind of reading and trying to wrap my brain around the different speeds that you can do things, plus the turn order in general. How it all plays out. Whoa. Serpapard Ascension. Serpapard. Yeah. There you go. Um, enchant. Uh, it's an enchantment, of course. Action, enchant, pay that. Uh, pay five. All dark attack abilities you play deal one additional damage. Okay. At the end of the round, you must send the top eight cards of your timeline to your memories. Ooh. Ouch. That's problematic after a little while. Hey, we got the full art. Wait, is that the second one? Yes. Hey, look, we've got dupes on lots of these now. That's really cool. So dupes on that one. Dupes on Adiris. Neat. And then dupes on Raha. We don't have dupes on Long, but, you know, maybe. Maybe there's uh, one of those left in the pack. Rajasi Lion, River Knee, and the Death Eater. He's just straight taking that life. Takes the life. This one, like I told you, I'm going to leave all of the packs. Ooh, there we go. What is the cards called again? Droop, 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 droop. Cognitive Restriction, that's what I thought. I'm literally leaving all the Cognitive Restriction cards. Crossing my fingers that that's an epic within this pack, or one of those packs, because that would just be, that would just be phenomenal. Just be a great little ending. To me, it would be. To me, it would be. Favorite card in the game, go. If you're watching, you have to sound off right now. You don't have any time to think. Favorite card in the game, go. What is it? What's your favorite card in the game? And tell me why. Tell me why. You have a lot of cards that work for dark. Yeah, I noticed that too. Oh, rain. OTK. Yeah, I, I understand an OTK deck. That sounds pretty cool. Wow. Round one or two. That is insane. That's unfun sounding, but if you're competitive, maybe it's really fun. Yeah, I noticed a lot of dark uh, cards popping up. Chapa! Battle cry. Dig it. Malak. Hey, there's a, uh, there's a Malak full art. Pretty cool. Leap. Ooh. We might as well just show these. Forget it. Hurricane Sweep followed by uh, Urticating Tarantula. Urticating Tarantula. Favorite card, go. Come on. Come on, people, go. What is your favorite card? Ooh, and let's play a game. Angel of Retribution. Yes, Angel of Retribution. The This one. These were in this little box. I don't understand the, uh, the meaning behind 2019, but I dig it. But I dig it. I like it a lot. That's two people said Angel of Retribution. Boom. Look at you guys. Okay. Now, since you're since you're here and I've got your attention, one, two, or three, you get to pick. Last three packs. This is all that's left. So pick one, two, or three and tell me. Pick a good one because whatever you pick is, is going to be the best pack. Pick which one's the best pack. One, two, or three. I saved all of the cognitive packs that I had left. First person to say a number is the one we open. Hmm. 
malicious persuasion. One, two, and three. One, two, or three. That's what I'm, that's what I'm looking for. And I totally get that I am, uh, I am on a delay. Totally get that I'm on a delay, but that's okay. Wow, I got a popping notification, phone notification, popping. So someone has to say one, two, or three, or I'm gonna sit like this the whole time. No, that would be really boring. If no one says it, oh, two, two was selected. Okay, if no one says it, I think I was gonna go with three, but maybe that's just my gut instinct telling me telling me something who knows all right here we go pious heretic has selected this pack tell me is draft in this game i bet you you could probably figure out a draft setup draft if so what are the rules to draft because this is uh this is one of the packs that pious heretics has selected for his draft dark strength by the way i appreciate your name pious heretic is a cool um, is a cool play on the two words and their meanings but Ryuku Rabbit. All right, here we go. You ready? You ready? Let's see. Whoa, that's cool looking. I have not seen that card. Interesting. It's a Nightmare Summon. When it enters the arena, any champion or summon may pay three life. If they do, you kill it. <laughs> oh, that's stupid. <laughs> that's funny, though. It just gets in three hits, right? Three, three damage, which I appreciate. Anybody can pay it, just deals three damage. Epiphany, backflip. Oh, look at the art on that, that's really neat. And Blackstone Golem. Okay, I was gonna pick this one. So let's put that one aside. Let's open this. By the way, just wanna talk about how the feel on these actually feels really nice. Feels really nice. Was this printed by, let's see, does it say? No. No, interesting though. Interesting though, because I know it. What they started with, uh, what was it? The game creator, the game, the website that you can print your own card games and stuff like. And uh, I didn't know if the uh, the packs had still, if it's still packed by them. I've never, you know, purchased anything through that before, so I wouldn't know the feel. I knew Wolf, Behemoth, Cub. Fearmonger, Draconis Naga, let's see, oh, I'm peeking, I'm peeking, there's the Fire Hill, we have an epic of that, that's interesting, and, ooh, a Kendra, full art, Kendra, gotta get, which we don't have another full art of Kendra, right, no, pretty cool looking, followed by, ooh, what, <laughs> hello there, Hello there. There's there is another epic still in the still in the packs. Man, it looks like we should have picked one. That would have been the pick right there. Cobus just coming out, just coming out to play. An epic Cobus. Boop. Put that one right there. Solid. I could really use your help. Reach. Oh, this is my restream. I need to turn that stupid bot off. What am I saying? What is that doing there? I don't need that bot running. I don't. I don't need it. I don't need it. Last pack. Last pack. This is the last chance for me to open a full art Nubia. But I don't know. I mean, one, two, th I mean, there's a lot of the full arts here, so. I doubt that it's here, and that makes me just a little bit sad, but you know what? That's okay, because I guess there's always next time, right? There's always next time. Plus, you don't need the, uh, the prettiness to play the game. You don't need it. It's just nice. It's just nice. Blazing Strike, Hawajin, Inferno Ghoul, Thunderstruck, Reckless Demolition. I think we got, whoa, and the Demon Scrolls to finish it out, which is cool. Search for a card and put it in your thoughts. Shuffle your timeline. Pretty neat. You just pay four life to do that, which is a solid thing to do. And Rain as the uh, as the little token slot. Oh my goodness, wait, there was another epic in the thing. I, I didn't realize that was uh, the order. I forgot the order. So that's four epics in a box. And it's Ajna Tiger. Boom. Look at it go. That is beautiful. That's a really good full art card to look at. That is super solid. Lambs for the Slaughter. The Cathedrals and an Elemental Dominance. You attach it as a skill and then uh, you choose one of the thingies and then at the end of the round you deal damage to the, the thing you chose. Oh, cool. 
Well, that's that, everybody. Those are two full boxes. That's two booster box open and openings, openings. And this is what we pulled. Man, those look those look really nice. I think um, I think more games should should bring out the uh, the super good art and then full art it. I think some games that don't do that are missing out, particularly games with, with good art like like the uh, the two sets that we've opened here. There's some really cool looking cards, and why would you not want to uh, why would you not want to full art some of these? Look at all these. That's cool looking. That's a great full art card. I bet. This one's a great full art card as well. So I was here's here's what I was hoping. I was hoping to see this in full art. I was hoping to see this in full art just because I love that's really super cool looking in full art. That's super cool looking. I bet. Um, yeah, no, there's there's some really cool cards, and the more that the more I read these cards, the more I understood. Man, a lot of the a lot of the dark cards. You're not kidding. The more I understood how this is all playing out, and, and it makes me more excited to check this out and like sit down with a friend and play it. Because this is just really interesting. The positioning, the the using the board. I, I'm really excited. I'm really excited. I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Thank you, Torchlight Games, for everybody that's over there hanging out and uh, you know watching and, and doing all that sort of thing. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you'd like to see more stuff like this in the future. Um, if you if you enjoyed just hanging out with me, you can always do the subscribe thing. I mean, I'm not going to make you. There's no way for me to make you. And I, and I only see if you, like, press the button. I won't see if you don't press the button. So there's, like, literally no pressure. But, uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys. Thank you for coming out, and I'll catch you next time. I'm going to go eat a bowl of cereal and, um, I guess, lay somewhere, watch something on YouTube. That's what I'll do. Good luck. Goodbye. Good luck. And we'll catch you next time.